Hey everyone, it's great to see you back here on the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, we're going to talk about movies as always. Big stack of stuff over to my left. We're going to go through this now. Everything I bought in December. Let's kick it off with the 4Ks. So the first four 4Ks were in a 2 for 20, 2 for 25 deal in Golden Discs. American made, based on a true story, Tom Cruise. This is for an upcoming Tom Cruise video on the channel. I think I mentioned that in uh, the November haul. I bought a bunch of Tom Cruise movies, so uh, I've never seen this one. So stay tuned uh, to the channel and I will be talking about American made. Grabbed another one in that deal, guys. This was a movie I saw a long time ago and I really liked it and I've only seen it once, so I'm interested in going back, uh, directed by Rian Johnson, Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Emily Blunt in Looper. I really liked this the first time I saw it and I thought, you know what, this would probably look really cool in 4K. So I grabbed this one in that deal as well. Another one that I have not seen, guys, uh, from Academy Award winning director Damien Chazelle. Um, so, Ryan Gosling in First Man. Gosling, Gosling. I always do that on the channel here. Gosling. I'm going with Gosling today. First Man, uh, story of Neil Armstrong. I have not seen this. I remember running it in work and I'm interested in checking this out. I love a good space movie, you know, NASA docs. I love all that good stuff. So, yeah, looking forward to checking out First Man. And last one in that deal, guys, I thought this is one of those kind of Hollywood classics. And I probably should have this in the collection. And what really kind of spurred my interest in this is there is an episode of Cursed Films uh, about this. So this is 1939's The Wizard of Oz. Uh, I've never seen this. Directed by Victor Fleming. Judy Garland in there. You know, I, I mean, pff, other than the little I know about this movie, that's literally it. I don't know anymore. So I'm really looking forward to checking out The Wizard of Oz for the first time. I'm going to imagine the like technical or stuff probably looks fantastic on 4K. So uh, looking forward to checking this one out. Last one up, not a lot of 4Ks this month guys, but last one up, I literally bought this yesterday as of filming this video, because this video will go out uh, probably a week or so later after I filmed it. So I grabbed the Arrow Chucky Collection 4K. Shock guys, I've never seen any of the Child's Play or the Chucky movies. So this is one of those great Arrow, big, chunky, Chucky box sets here. Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Course of Chucky, Cult of Chucky, and Documentary Living with Chucky. I just want to briefly show you guys the artwork. So when you open it up, everything is obviously nicely housed within. And each of the movies have this nice kind of um, booklet deal with them. And Chucky kind of, I'll show you guys, Chucky evolves as the movies go along. For the first three movies, I believe it is, you get the new poster and you get the original movie poster, which is really cool. Arrow 4K, I'm really looking forward to checking this out. They probably get worse as they go along, but I remember in work, I ran Bride of Chucky and See the Chucky on 35mm film, which was really cool. And I have some cinema posters for them. But yeah, Chucky Collection was the last 4K pickup for December. I'm going to quickly jump in with vinyl, guys. And I'm reaching behind me because I only have three of them and they're here behind me. So the first one up was Robbie Robertson, Killers of the Flower Moon vinyl soundtrack. I love this movie and I thought the soundtrack was great. It's still in the plastic, as you'll see on the glare there. I haven't even opened it, haven't listened to it. But uh, looking forward to listening to this one again. Fantastic movie. This was a random last minute boy, guys. The uh, Clint Mansell Moon score. Love the movie. I have not watched it in a while. I have the 4K here. It's on the shelf and I need to revisit it. I saw this and I was like, wow, I've never seen this before. I am going to grab this. Still has the security tag and all on it. Literally bought this yesterday. So again, looking forward to listening to this one. Christmas present from my mom and dad here. This is the Placebo Live kind of vinyl box set here. So what you get is a kind of a poster that opens out. You get Collapse Into Never Live in Europe. Double vinyl, double clear vinyl. Really nice stuff. You get the Live from the White Room CD. And you get the This Is What You Wanted Live in Mexico Blu-ray. I love a good box set. Uh, I really like Placebo. This is sold out. So I'm really glad that I was able to grab it and uh, get it for Christmas. 
Blu-ray time. First one up, this was an Amazon pickup. I watched the, if you saw my last haul, I got the Robert England documentary and Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, I think it was called. So in that documentary, Robert England spoke about this movie he did called The Last Showing, where he plays a projectionist. I work as a projectionist in a cinema, so I thought I have to have this movie. And the plot is kind of funny, like a projectionist kind of finds out he's been made redundant after years of film when digital came in and he goes on a murderous rampage. Uh, I picked it up off Amazon and it did have the slip cover with it as well. So I am looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, I will probably enjoy this one. Next one up guys, you have probably seen a lot of my Purge videos here on the channel and the last Purge video, which was part three, I believe, I spoke about now I'm kind of, the stuff I take out of the collection goes to CEX. So uh, the first batch of stuff that went to CEX, I was able to pick up this, like basically there's one mark you'll see here on screen. That's the only thing that's wrong with this. I got the Airwolf Complete Collection Blu-ray box set seasons one to three. I loved Airwolf when I was a kid. I have the little Airwolf model up there on the shelf. You know, I loved this TV show when I was a kid and I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab this uh, out of parting ways with a few things out of the collection. I got this uh, in CEX with my voucher from what I traded in. So uh, yeah, that was the next one up. This next one, guys, is one I watched on TV and I've been waiting for a Blu-ray for a long time. Constantly saw it on DVD. I'm not opposed to buying DVD anymore, but if I can get the Blu-ray or wait for the Blu-ray, I will. It was an ESPN Films Dog Wolf release, OJ Made in America. It's a fantastic documentary about the entire OJ story. It's something crazy. It's 450 minutes long, two discs. It's a bunch of episodes, possibly like four or six episodes. There's a little booklet in there as well. You know me if you've watched the channel for a while. I love a good like murder documentary. I love a good documentary anyways. So um, yeah, I'm glad that I was finally able to get this on Blu-ray for the collection. Christmas presents up next, guys. My girlfriend very kindly got me these next four. Blu-rays for my Christmas present. Um, this first one up is fantastic. It's the Scream Factory Show Factory box set, the Critters Collection. Now, there will be a video coming on the channel in like a week or two. I've already watched them. I've already filmed the video. Um, I've never seen Critters and that's what the video is about. Me watching Critters 1 to 4. It's great stuff, guys. I don't want to talk about it here, but it's a really nice box set from Scream Factory. We all know Scream Factory do those horror box sets fantastically. Halloween, Friday the 13th are here behind me on the shelf. They do a great job with these. And I, I haven't even delved into the bonus features yet, but um, Critters Collection was the next one. Now, another Christmas present from my girlfriend. This is from the director Park Chan Wook. Decision to Leave was a movie I really enjoyed. So this is one of, one of his previous films, The Handmaiden. So my girlfriend got this and thought I would like this one. So I have not watched it yet, but I'm really looking forward again to checking this one out. I know I kind of say that with every film. I'm really looking forward to this. This one was good because I really like Decision to Leave. So I am looking forward to this one, The Handmaiden. Another Christmas present from my girlfriend, a Pedro Almodovar movie. Hopefully I pronounced that right. We watched this on DVD together and I was like, that was really funny. I really enjoyed that and I want it for the collection, but I want the Blu-ray and I was never able to see it. And then she was able to pick it up. This is Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. It's really, really funny. Really enjoyed it with a slipcover. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. One last Christmas present from my girlfriend, Eureka Masters of Cinema number 70, F.W. Murnau. Hopefully I've pronounced that correctly as well. We went to see it like a hundred anniversary, 125th anniversary. I think it was a hundred anniversary screen and something like that. This is the original Nosferatu. Really, really cool. Um, you guys know I love the horror stuff here. So it's really, really cool. It has a really nice booklet in there as well with loads of stuff on the film and the restoration. And I believe there is like alternative, there's a like alternative score, something like that. There's really cool bonus features on this. You know, Eureka guys, they do some good stuff. So um, yeah, Nosferatu will be coming to a video soon here on the channel. 
Next stuff up guys is some review copies from Imprint in Australia. This is Tales of Adventure Collection 2. I reviewed Tales of Adventure Collection 1. I'm looking at it because it's on the shelf there. Um, these are really cool older kind of movies. Um, Imprint spine number 266 to 269. Angel on the Amazon. Daughter of the Jungle. Fair Wind to Java. Elephant Walk and Safari. One of these features Elizabeth Taylor. I am looking forward to checking these out because I literally know nothing about these movies. And uh, it's cool to watch some stuff for the first time. So uh, there will be a review of this coming to the channel soon. Another imprint review, guys. Spine number 270, 1968 Assignment K. This basically sounds to me like what was probably a slew of James Bond ripoffs around the late 60s there. This is the boss of a toy company, secretly the chief of a British spy organization. And his cover is destroyed when enemy agents kidnap his girlfriend to force him to reveal the identities of his fellow spies. This one is directed by Val Guest and has the original artwork there when you pull it out of the slip, guys. Again, there will be a review of this coming to the channel soon. I spoke about this, guys, on a short video here on the channel, or if you follow my social media accounts, uh, I've made some reels. This is RoboDoc, the creation of RoboCop. It's like an almost, it's a four-part documentary. There is basically like nearly six hours of content on this. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're an 80s kid and you love the original Robocop and you're interested in the making of or the behind the scenes story, please check this out. It comes with art cards and a little poster there as well. Really, really love it. Um, fantastic stuff, guys. And I really, really love it. So I recommend if you're an 80s kid and you love Robocop, you have to own this in your collection. This one you guys may think is a strange one for my collection here, but this was announced and I thought Kino Lorber in the States, I was like, I need this for whatever reason felt i need this for the collection so this is colombo seasons one to seven the 1970s tv show on blu-ray i got this off amazon unfortunately you can probably just about make out they wrecked the corner of the box here the top of the box is all wrecked here it all got broken when i opened these up like there's pieces of the blu-ray case falling out the discs were all like out you know not clicked in i know you guys in the states always complain about amazon and i've only ever had two amazon like issues before and, and this is another one like the package just got wrecked it was just in a bubble envelope and that was it getting to colombo i just feel like colombo was always on the tv and there's some funny episodes and i thought you know this is some kind of part of tv history and i want to have this in the collection so uh I will get through Columbo at some point, much like the Airwolf box set. I have no idea when I'm going to watch like 3,800 minutes of Columbo, but I have it and I own it and I will watch it at some point. Last but not least, guys, uh, thanks to my girlfriend's sister. This was a Christmas present. This is the original, the scariest, the best child's play. This is the first child's play movie. Yes, I did get the Chucky 4K collection, but this has a lot of special features that I don't believe are in that Arrow box set. There is like one, two, three audio commentaries. There is behind the scenes feature it's creating Chucky, unleash Chucky, like convention, fan convention feature it, um, making of child's play, vintage feature it, photo galleries. Um, so for the sake of those cool bonus features, I am going to keep this and that artwork's pretty cool as well, right? That's really, really cool. Child's Play. There you go, guys. That was everything I bought and was gifted <laughs> in December. As always, I really want to hear from you guys. What did you get over Christmas, over the holidays? What did you pick up throughout December? Jump in the comments down below. Let me know. What did you get? As always, that's going to do it, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Number one way to support the movie vault, guys, is to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps. Subscribe to the channel as well. Share the video with someone you think may be interested. Stay safe, guys, and I will talk to you on the next video.